Okay, now we got it. Now we got it. What's up, David? Can't hear. What are you deaf? I can't. I can hear. <laughs> All right. Let's see if this. I, I think this password doesn't work. <clears throat> oh shit! That's why there's no fucking name. What are you up to tonight, Dave? Okay, got the two axes. Whoa, cat, whoa! We'll start the stream in a bad way. <laughs> Fantastic Village! <laughs> Darwin Dixie, I forgot about that. Not complete. Try again. Why is it not complete? Well, just reset it. Ugh. I didn't even think when I wrote that password down that you'd have to write a name down with it. Well, that's an asshole, me. <laughs> Brandon, what's going on, dude? Thanks for stopping by, everybody. I don't work till 5 tomorrow, so... Tomorrow, Friday the 13th. Oh, shit, yeah. What? Well, come on up. Get up here. Stop squawking. Come on. Meh. Fine, be a brat. Let's see if I care. Woohoo, tattoo time? You get a tattoo tonight, are you? Fucking tattoos. Alright. I'm gonna try and save a password. What the fuck? No. Oh. Just a tiny pineapple? Okay. It's an odd choice for a tattoo, but fine. <laughs> really odd choice. Yeah, we can celebrate Friday the 13th here together tonight, guys. Fucking. It'll be horrible. It has a meaning? Okay. This dude I work with, he's right into trivia, I think I told you that. But he told me that a pineapple is a traditional housewarming gift. That I did not know. So maybe that's the mean. Is it a, just a housewarming gift? I need to get another tattoo sometime too, actually. I've been putting it off for way too fucking long. I got the old spider web right there, and then I want to get uh, an anarchist A on my arm over there, just to even things up. Some people throw them outside, but to outside to keep bad juju away. Ah, so you don't know more more about that than I do. I I didn't know that. Yeah, because we went to a housewarming gift with this dude I work with, or went for to a housewarming party with the dude I work with, and. He goes over to the grocery store and gets a pineapple. I'm like, what in the fucking crazy shit are you doing now? Because the guy is batshit crazy. What's up, Chris? What are you doing, man? Thanks for coming in, guys. We're going to go for quite a while tonight, I think. I forgot tomorrow was Friday the 13th. 
I even saw it there at work. I just saw Friday the 13th, but I, on my paperwork, I was like, oh, it's Thursday the 12th. Wall pork chops. Oh, I hate the fact that I gotta fucking keep going and remember to say this damn password again. Wow. Oh, okay. See John Kratz stream in a little while. It was like three or four days now, something like that. I've been missing his streams just because I was sick and stuff, but I miss that guy. Uh, fuck this game. busy lately. Yeah, I bet you he is busy. It's just... Fucking miss that guy. Where has he been? Come on, zombie. Get out of there. Yeah. I gotta work on another fucking video soon. Like, it's been too long since I put anything out. I think I'm gonna do the movie review pilot. Let's see how that goes. I've been thinking a lot about it lately. It seems like it might be fun to do. I just gotta figure it the fuck out. Oh. Yeah, he streamed a lot too, so that kind of makes sense. My throat's kind of sore right now, though, because fucking. Our machines went down at work today, and they couldn't wait on any customers. So I'm standing there just saying sorry to everybody all over, like over and over and over again. What kind of movies would I review? Like really just obscure ones. Like, uh, well, the first one I'm going to do is... Uh, fuck sakes. Yeah, the first one I'm going to do is The Dead Next Door. Did you guys ever see that one? really like a crazy B-movie from, I'd say, early 80s? Something like that. Oh, J.S. Square, what's going on, buddy? You saying tonight, man? Happy Thursday the 12th, everybody. Dallas homie? Oh. Cool. Fucking right, people. Seems like a lot of you people are pretty close together down there. Oh. This is cool. So a good buddy of mine, well, I'd say good buddy, but this awesome guy that I know. He used to be one of our clients at Maritime Medicinal, the dispensary I worked at. So he works at uh, the Comfort Inn now. And he was saying that he can get me a, like a reduced rate 
basically anywhere where there's a, where there's a comfort in location. So that, that's cool because if I can get down to the States next year, then I can get a decent cheap hotel room. He just said, let me know where, he's, where, he's, where I'm going and when I'm going, and he'll give me his access so I can get his flat rate. Really nice guy, this dude is. Really nice guy. Like This guy's definitely going to, like, fucking ultra heaven. Ah, fucking boards. You bought a fake Les Paul? Did you mean to? Or did you get ripped off, dude? <laughs> J.S. Squire, that sucks, man. I hope you didn't get ripped off, but Fuck, I hate people that try and pass off counterfeits. It's an Epiphone, but it has uh, Gibson headstock. Oh. It says Gibson and all that shit. Huh. As long as it's good quality, and you didn't pay a whole lot for it. That's okay. Yep. My buddy bought a Les Paul there years and years ago. Like the same one the uh, guitarist uses off of Bad Religion. Same guitar. Pay like $2,100 for it, I think, or something like that. Or maybe it's twelve hundred, but it was expensive, anyways. Not fucking cheap. I only paid one fifty for my bass, but it's just a an Ibanez. I like it though. So Jasper, do you play a lot, or do you or are you just getting started? Oh, I feel like a manhandle and not freak out. Yeah, you need a guitar like that. Like, mine's got all kinds of dings and scratches on it. and I just don't care. As long as it doesn't really break. It's my orb. Bam. <sighs> oh, you've been playing for 25 years. Whoa. I've been playing for maybe 10 years? No, more than 10 years now, off and on. I haven't played for a long time. Just something happened when me and my ex broke up years ago. I just lost interest in it for some reason. I don't know why. It's not like it reminds me of her or nothing like that. It's just I stopped playing and I never really picked it back up again. Oof. Twenty five years though, damn, that's not bad. How many guitars do you got? Probably got a few by now. <clears throat> I'm trying to find a base, and I can't. Maybe I should check eBay. Because I'm a lefty, right? I'm a lefty, right? Left-handed. And it's hard to find anything for a left-handed person, let alone a certain kind of bass. The reason why I got the one that I got is because I went to the music store one day with a buddy of mine, the one that plays guitar. And he's like, oh, look, there's a left-handed bass. It's not a bad price. And I was like, what? 150 Fuck, I scooped that up. Down to three, and then I've got one I'm building. Oh. I'm looking for 
fat mic space. Not sure if you've seen that. It's a uh, Dan Electro short horn. I guess I think that's what it is. I just love the look of that thing. It just looks like it's so comfortable to play. So I looked around for one there a few years back and I could never find it. I could find lots of right-handed ones but never a left-handed one. So, I don't know. Maybe someday I'll find it. China to knock off base, Google it. Uh, maybe that's a good idea. Yeah, because it doesn't have to be an actual Dan Electro, just as long as it's good and it looks like that style. Ooh, little fucking ball. Yeah, I never thought to look at ah, that. Be... <clears throat> so you think they would have one? They would have like a short horn Dan Electro lefty? So that would be sweet. I also like the Fender Jazzmaster. That's a good one. Baritone Fender Jaguar, ooh, fake Les Paul, <laughs> and the Project Fair is another Fender Jaguar that just needs a neck. Yeah. Probably find a decent neck on a guitar at a yard sale or something, wouldn't you, at a flea market? Like, ooh. Fuck, get out of here, frog. Why are frogs so evil in this game? Just need a piece of meat. Yeah, Fender Jazzmaster would be a nice bass. That's what uh, Matt Freeman plays on from Rancid. Well, that's one of them anyways. Company called Wormuth to make one eventually. Oh, I should get back to playing. It's been too long. Like I was actually starting to get good too. Dano Shorthorn is cool. Yeah, definitely is cool. I like that. I don't think I'd get the same color, the blue one. I'd probably get, try and get a green one. So I think Fat Mike's is blue. That's alright, Jay. Don't worry about that, dude. We talk about all kinds of shit in here. There's not many people in here right now, anyways, because just getting started, I suppose. Were you guys here last night when I fell asleep? <laughs> I thought I shut the stream off, and then I didn't. I was actually, like, just sleeping. So, <laughs> William Patrick calls me up, and he's like, Your stream's not over, you're, you're sleeping. <laughs> There's still eight people watching. I was like, What? What the fuck are people watching me sleep in my chair for? Sleep stream, huh? Jay did that? Okay, well if he did it, I don't feel so bad now. I felt right stupid. I'm really glad I didn't just start like getting undressed for bed or something. <laughs> Cause, yeah, it'd just be like a strip show on fucking YouTube. Fucking Boyd. <laughs> yeah, real classy. 
And I was dead asleep. All I could hear was the phone ringing like crazy. I'm like, who is this calling me at like 4 o'clock in the fucking morning? And I really didn't want to wake up. And then finally I was like, what? Who's calling me? So I checked the phone and I was like, Will, what's Will doing? And he's like, man, your stream's still going. <laughs> Yep, zipped. I did that at work the other day too. <laughs> so at work we get a tucker shirts in. We get to look professional. So I have my shirt tucked in and I'm talking to this guy that I work with. He's he's funny as fuck. This guy's always carrying on saying something fucked up. <laughs> if only LOL. We do start yelling at me. <laughs> Wake the fuck up, GD! Cat seems to be fucking sleeping on stream, you idiot! I know, idiot. I know. What's up, Gary? Jody? <laughs> Were you guys attending the the fucking sleep stream last night? <laughs> oh, god damn it. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> You have nightmares about being a cashier again? Yeah. Sleep stream is awesome. <laughs> oh, God. Well, hopefully that won't happen again. Hopefully it doesn't get worse. Come on. Go, go, go. For fuck's sakes. You fell asleep with a cigarette in your mouth? Ooh, yeah. I've never done that. I'm always scared to fucking burn myself down with that shit. I don't smoke anymore. I don't smoke cigarettes anymore anyway. But... I was staying over at a buddy of mine's place one time we were drinking or something so here I'm sleeping on the couch and I hear him get up I'm like alright he's just going to the bathroom or something like that and then I start smelling smoke I'm like oh he's having a smoke whatever so about a minute or two later I hear ah <laughs> so he was laying in bed on his back smoking and the, he fell asleep a cigarette rolled out of his mouth and onto his chest and burned the living shit in him like, he had like three big blisters on his chest Like last night I was back at my old job and all my coworkers had left their registers until locked up and I was getting swarmed. Yeah. yeah. It is one shitty thing about retail. See at least my job I'm not like just working a cash register like all day every day. There's different things to do. No more pork chops? Bummer. Fuck! Fucking Gary, what are you doing, man? You guys gonna stick around for Friday the 13th tonight? Not the movie, but... converting Night Living Dead right now for Halloween. Do that for the Halloween stream. Oh, damn. I'm, I'm taking way too many hits here. Medusa's going to kick my ass. Go! 
better. Friday the 13th is still on? Oh, don't start with that shit. Now, come on. Of course Friday the 13th is still on. Cancel that shit. Jay Esquire. <laughs> Who's that? The, was it Jay that Jay Esquire said that last night? Oh, yeah. Gary, I'm going to dress up. I'm not sure where I'm going to be yet, but I'll do some. I was Doctor Who last year. He'll dress up as a zombie this year. Imagine being whipped to death. That would suck. Oh yeah, Jody, it would suck. I don't know. I'm not sure if you ever watched Robot Chicken, but there's one skit that they do in that where it's a Castlevania skit. And he whips a werewolf, and the werewolf's like, "How the fuck? He's like, that shit hurts. <laughs> He's like, you're not even going to kill me with that. Just, you're being a dick. <laughs> oh, that fucking bad fucked me up. Oh, I can really go for a pork chop here, guys. Poor Medusa. Fuck Medusa. Medusa. Fucking. Ooh. Pretty gruesome stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm fucked. There's. I need a pork chop so bad. Like. Never thought I'd say that, but it's true. I need a fucking pork chop here, guys. Let me see one. There's no walls for me to smash into. Seriously, no pork chops. Tyler Perry presents, presents Medusa's house. Oh, well, cheers, guys! Thanks for coming by tonight. I don't work till five o'clock tomorrow, so I can actually do a decent stream. Not worried about going to bed. Stay up for a while. I think I'm going to do this one, this stream, for maybe an hour and a half or two hours, something like that, and then. I'm going to start up a second stream, and we can play some music and stuff. That'll be a little later, though. I need to create some content for fucking YouTube. Fucking YouTube's just like a whiny little bitch. Where did I put my freaking ring joint? I'm missing. Well, that's all it. Bright orange. I don't see how I could lose it. Medusa's house. My mom loves those movies. Medea. And I have never seen one actually. I should probably watch one sometime. YouTube chews on fucking diapers. It does, definitely. Give me more Julio Iglesias. Julio Iglesias? Really? Isn't that like Dust in the Wind? Isn't that who does that song? I had it too. I had it. Not Moon Night Lady. Moonlight Lady. Hey, Jesse. What's up? Yeah. Good kitty. Take a little puff off the old pipe here. Just one second. I would not play that song, <laughs> David.
just because you said that, I'm actually going to play that song now. Not right now, though. Tears for fears. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Smoked much of anything yet today because I was working all day. But I find the first bowl is always the harshest. Damn it. <laughs> First ball is the best. Oh, yeah. Best part of waking up is fucking weed in your cup. Go away, fly. Holy water. Oh. I gotta turn my fucking beard and stuff. It's tickling the shit out of my nose. Probably looks like I've been doing coke. Bats, bat wings. They bring this game to the Switch yet? I don't know. Did they? I don't own a Switch. They probably will if they haven't yet. Fuck, I forgot about that. Get out of here. I need to get myself a switch sometime too. Some fucking time. Get one. Oh, I'm back to this level again, aren't I? Three, two. Yeah, I heard that they, they did add a whole bunch of games to the list, too, but I would imagine this one would probably be on it, wouldn't it? It's like one of the, it's like, what, top ten most popular games for the, the, the SNES? Switch is still too expensive for me, though. I'd like to get one. sometime. It'd be the first new console that I bought in, since the PSP, I'd say. Fuck. <laughs> Two joints every thousand points. <laughs> oh, I hate this level. It's all because like you have to go all the way back to the start. Fuck up that one part up there. Basically screwed for the rest of the level. I'm 
Yeah, the Joy-Con mess, I heard. It makes me nervous to fork out the money. That's why I don't want to pay full price for one. If I saw one cheap at, like, a pawn shop or some shit, I might pick one up, but... Now... Supposed to fix that Joy-Con thing free of charge now? Yeah, well, better. That shouldn't have, been, <coughs> shouldn't have been an issue to begin with. I don't understand why that was, you know, one of their basically failing points. But Nintendo, really? Of all companies. Alright. Yes. I don't want to have to get it fixed at all. Yeah, you shouldn't have to, like, send it away to get it fixed and be without your your switch for, like, fuck knows how long. Ah! Oh, so frustrating. Fuck! Had it and I fucking hesitated. Oh, they just replace it, probably. It's even worse if it's on the life be on the left, because the Joy Cons aren't even removable. Mm. Okay, hopefully it's game over. Yes, password. Thank you. Right on. Holy water. Axe. It's a shitty heart, but... Heart, heart, and then one up there. Sorry about this, I just have to save this password for sure. <sighs> so there's what? One there, one here, one more, and that's that. There we go, I got it. <coughs> Finally. Okay, moving right along. Anybody have a request for a game at all? I'm not sure what to play. Slatterhouse 3. That's a good one, always. Wow. 
Matt's got some controllers here. <clears throat> Are you guys buying the Sega Genesis Mini? That's not that great. Same password for this one too. Mario Tennis for the Virtual Boy? <laughs> well, I don't have a Virtual Boy, and I'm not sure how I'd stream that if I did. I don't have Mario Tennis either for that matter. No, I don't. I do what I'd buy it. I'd rather just get the cards for the games I want. Yeah. I saw Mike Matei did a thing on it, but it did look like he was pleased. I didn't watch it yet. <laughs> Jennifer Cowers in hiding, avoiding capture from the monster. She's going to get fucked up. map. I think I have to keep going this way for now. I should know this by now. I should know it off by heart. Hmm. No map just yet. How do I get the map? fucking fact it's like oh it's like Metroid you don't know where to go and you also have a time limit too because fucking dude's girlfriend is going to get murdered still I need to get good at this game, that's what it is. I just freaking suck. Oh, cool. How did I, I do that now? Hmm. Jedi Out Outcast. Never played that one. I watched some gameplay on it because I think I was a Star Wars fan, but I'm not into new games at all. But that'd be kind of cool. I used to have Star Wars Battlefront for the PSP. I had that one. I had. Liberty City Stories, and then I had uh, Infected, which is kind of a cool game. I thought there was a way to bring up a map. Jedi 
Knight and Ocas were really good. Sweet. That's one reason I'd like to get a Switch, so I can just play some of these games that I missed. Jennifer begins to smell of rot. <clears throat> she just needs to take a fucking shower, really. Pretty quiet in here tonight. <clears throat> so far, anyway. I'll never make it there in time. Sorry, been lurking. That's okay, man. It's all right to lurk. Just saying. It's, it's like it's quiet. It usually is for me this time of night. And there's, I know there's some other people streaming right now too. But it's all right. Task a lot. I suppose I do too. I don't really like when you see me in Jay's stream. I don't talk a whole lot unless I got something stupid to say. But Yeah, Chris, hit that bell again. I think that's what it is. So. so I, think, <coughs> I think that's what happened with a lot of people. It's friggin' YouTube. If YouTube doesn't think for a split second that you're interested in the content, then they start just demoting it or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Look at me, I'm a flowing head. The monster emits a foul smell. He fired it. Yeah. You know how great YouTube is. <laughs> Finally. Alright, we need to go up. It's already too late. Maybe I can't use the... It's up, over, up, through. Up. There. Fucking snot monsters. What's up, Robert Rivera? Dude, what are you saying? Happy almost Friday the 13th. It's like 10 minutes away from Friday the 13th here. The best day of the year. Speaking of Friday the 13th, that's why I'm playing some Splatterhouse. Because I don't have Friday the 13th the game.
Oh, just get out of here, fucking snot monsters. What's up? Bush beers? Oh yeah, this game is fucked. Like, I wanted this game so bad, and my buddy bought it for like 80 bucks. And the cover is so faded, man. It's it's really, like, it's been sitting in a store window for a long time or something. Oh, come on. Fuck off. He's got one hell of a reach on him. make other kinds of vids? Like what kinds? What kinds of vids? It's hard to find something to do original nowadays. Like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of different stuff. Jennifer's destroyed by the foul beast. <laughs> Reminds me of Family Guy when Peter loves her at their wedding. He's like, you may now kiss the bride. Like, kiss her? I'm going to destroy her. <laughs> oh, this asshole again. I didn't want to deal with this shit. Fucking deal with it. Look. This guy's so freaking fast. It's crazy. Man, he just spat at me. mean. Jennifer's destroyed by the foul beast. Probably just going to do hobby related stuff. Game related stuff or just whatever I want. Yeah. Just do a bunch of different stuff. That's what I sort of did. And then I just like, well, I'll stick with the one that people seem to like the most. I still got that, that other show, uh, Game Genie Let's Plays. But that didn't seem to end up being that popular. Sorry, you're nine away from 200 subbed. Not bad, dude. Not too bad at all, really. Okay, let's get a password here. Let's see if I get something. Wasn't even good enough to get a password out of it. All right. Make another go of it here. It is almost Friday the 13th where I'm at. It's probably a couple hours away from where most of you guys are. Just gonna plow through these things. Right on. Yeah, music can take a lot of time in school. Hmm. Make that eight for you. Yeah, there you go. Huh. 
I'm three away from 210, I think. I'm, I think I'm up to 207 now. Which is pretty cool. I like that. I'll have to do something special when I get to 210, for sure. No. Get out of here. Fucking die. Oh, my, 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 my fucking cinder block flew away. What is going on here? an hour till midnight there okay well we'll just keep doing it anyways <laughs> get weedy drunk pour some beer in there there you go weedy I'm sure he'll be fine speaking of get drunk I gotta pour another glass here to finish that beer let's get some whiskey on the go now Yeah, it's really crazy when you find folks with the same passion on other continents. Yeah. We had a couple viewers from over in Europe, I know that. Bunch down the States, a couple out west in Canada, central Canada, Ontario and shit. They even got some that are close by. Wasting my time, buddy. Wasting my fucking time. Jennifer's gonna begin to smell of rot soon. Ah, oh, seriously. Doug McKenzie. The video game. They should bring them back all together. Sounds like more people are noticing. Way cool. Yep, very cool. Man, good job, dude. Floating head. <laughs> oh shit. I'm so fucking lost. What, to go through that? I see what's going on here, actually. Be 
begins to smell of rot of the grave. Jennifer! <laughs> Starting to recommend you. I'm not sure about it. Um, it's hard to say, man. Ooh, took my stick away. I don't think YouTube recommends me to people at all. <laughs> if anything, it does the opposite, but whatever. I was watching this thing there yesterday, too. I'm not sure if you guys watched the Joe Rogan show, but he had uh, Bill Burr, the comedian, on there. And Bill Burr was saying, he's like, I really don't want everyone to fucking like me. He's like, you know, that just seems fake. <laughs> Oof. Dirty. Eighteen's not bad, man. Yeah, like, did any of you guys get recommended, or how did you... I know a bunch of you just know me from Jay's stream and stuff, but... Did any of you guys ever just see the stream up on YouTube? You're like, who the fuck's this guy? And you check me out that way? Is that what happened to anybody? I think I had, I might have had one person say that they get recommended, but I don't know. What's up, kitty cat? Yeah, eighteen's a pretty good amount, man. You know me from Raleigh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like Retro Robbie streams. He's a pretty good, dude. YouTube, the algorithm of how it recommends content this year. Oh, man, I should check that out, actually. So I wonder how it really works. Like, I looked into a little bit of it, and then just, like, I don't even know if this is true or not. I know the YouTube algorithm doesn't like me, though. I can tell you that for sure. Likes and hearts really help. Well, I get some of those, I suppose. Oh, you're still there? Yeah, I appreciate that too, guys. See, my only thing is, something happened to my YouTube channel where I just don't get notices of people commenting on my videos. I'll look at the comments, like, later on, I'll think about it, I'm like, I wonder if somebody commented on it. I'll look, and I'm like, holy fuck, like, 20 people commented, and I missed every one of them. Like an asshole. So now I basically have to make sure to go look and keep, keep an eye on it. Because for some fuck off reason. Oh, stop spitting at me! Just do your running thing. Oh, fucking hell! <laughs> it's a jab. All YouTube's notifications are broken? I would say so, because I, <coughs> I heard they were getting notified. Oh, this fucking guy.
And now it's on, bud. Really? Why can't I get a fucking punch in here? This is weird. Oh, don't start spitting at me again, motherfucker, I swear to God. What's saying here? Also privacy. It's a also a privacy setting, I think. Privacy can affect that, but I'm not not on comments. I am set pr private, but most YouTubers seem to get my comments. It's just a broken system, it seems. Yeah, I just gotta make sure to check the actual video for comments after I post it, just to make sure I'm not missing what you guys are saying. My cat is walking all over my games. She just does not give a fuck. Don't hit the cord, cat. I swear to God. I swear to God, Brody. One of these days, cat. These fucking days. Yeah. Oh, he licked me to death. This guy's a tough cookie. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this one either. Just don't throw them. Ah, Finally! Holy shit, my fingers hurt. Fake heated keyboard for cats, so they stop walking on your real ones. Ha! That's wicked. Rick stands in front of Jennifer's lifeless body. Mask. He killed her. Your rage. Use your rage against him. To the dark side. system. Wow. That's that's pretty deep shit there, J Squire. That's crazy though. Like I don't know. I was watching that video by uh, Smash JT the other day too, and saying whether bother making a YouTube channel in 2019. And it was yeah, pretty grim from what he was saying. But I don't know. I wasn't really looking to make money off it. <laughs> like real computer science? Fuck. Die just like your precious wife. What? You guys see the typo? Preklos wife. Nort, the evil one is using you, telepathy, to stop you. 
What's telepathy? Yeah, if you're going to make a make good money, uh, it can be competitive now, but it's still good for just fun. Oh yeah, God, yes. There's nothing wrong with that. If you play, f yeah, that's right too. If I play Fortnite or Minecraft or like the Nintendo Switch games, you definitely get ramped up. What I do isn't really that interesting to everybody. Oh, this game's freaking hard on the hands, man. My hands are actually, like, aching from playing this game. Oh. Hear that or not? You can't say any cuss words? Oh, there's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, if you want to be monetized. Or not if you want to be monetized. I don't care if you be monetized. It, what am I going to do with like fucking 20 bucks a month from YouTube for everyone watching ads all the time? But I'd like to get my content out there to people that are interested in it and like coming and hanging out. Having a good time. Oh, fuck, that hurts. <laughs> I'm just hoping to die soon so I can get the password and move on. Oh, fucking thing from... How do you even get rid of these things? Just break out of here. Gotta punch them in the air or something? Is that what's going on here? This is insane. I don't even know what to do here. Just I'm so lost. So lost. Not gonna be a po not gonna be possible unless there's legislative action in the US to break up or regulate Google. Yeah. Yeah, it's a weird convoluted fucking system. Like, even before I started this, I uh, looked into YouTube, and I'm like, you know, what should I do? And it's like, holy fuck, this is crazy. I, I just don't care. I'm just going to make these videos, do some streams. People like it. They like it. If not, they can just fuck right off. <laughs> no. Oh. Floating head's going to take my brick away, isn't it? You fucker, get back here. Alright. So, whoa. I am way off base here. Go at this door and down, down. Masher, this is. If you love button mashing, people, this is the game for you. Oh, look at that door. We're going to go down this one. Going down! Streaming places like Twitch or Mixer, only remotely close places to compete. Yeah. And I guess on Twitch, they don't like people smoking weed and drinking. Or, no, not not drinking. Yeah, you can't smoke weed on Twitch, I guess. That's what I heard. Not too sure if that's true, but...
But yeah, you can have your tits out. On Twitch, really? You can... Oh, seriously? That's fucked up. Oh, floating head. Double standard of weed, even though it's like legal in my country, so I'm allowed to do it. It's not like I'm doing anything illegal. Oof. Heard someone use the phrase Twitch thought? What's that mean now? Not fully out, but you can show a lot of cleavage and not actually play games. <laughs> oh, man, that's dumb. That's just a gimmick. Basically prostituting yourself. Just not going all the way. There's this girl that comes into my work once in a while, <laughs> and she's like one of those online shows, I guess, or whatever. Like the online sex shows, she does those kinds of videos. Really weird. <laughs> Not really weird, but it's different, I should say. <laughs> Misogynistic slur, I guess, stands for that over there. Oh, really? Huh. Who would have thunk it? You don't even care what people do on camera. It's double standard that Twitch allows. Oh, yeah, like this this fucking couple that comes in, like the, the one that does the uh, online sex shows, I guess. I've never watched her videos. I, I don't think I could. It'd just be too weird. <laughs> okay, where the fuck am I going? Uh, what's this? What the shit, man? What, what the fuck are you doing? I don't understand what's going on here. That's confusing. Not a fit it usually. I don't know. It's, I suppose it depends. Like, you know, I'll say that, but I don't, I don't know. I don't like name calling, really. Unless it's in, in fun. I don't understand what the fuck I'm supposed to do here, though, guys. This is weird. All right. I'm supposed to go down there anyway. I thought there was like a door or something going through. This game's a fucking trip, though. Alright. Oh, I didn't. I, well, I was gonna get my health. Cam girls, yeah, that's what they're called. Just do it on platforms that are supposed to allow it. Yeah, I think she does. Well, I'm actually pretty sure that she does, but... Oh, I didn't look at the fucking... The path. Yeah, this game's getting good and gory now. Yeah, especially just when blatantly hateful. Yeah, exactly. I don't 
I don't know. I could think much more intelligent things to say to somebody when I'm angry with them than just calling them a name, like asshole or, you know, bitch or whatever. I've never, I can say, honestly, I've never called a woman a bitch. Not seriously, anyways. I've, I've, been, I've joked around like, oh, you bitch. <laughs> but I've never done that. If I'm mad at, like, somebody, I'll just, I'll tell you straight up. Chris, what do you say there? Uh-oh. Drop my fucking knife. See girls calling each other thoughts, and I'm like, hmm, what are the parameters of this? <laughs> I've never heard that one a thought. That's different. I don't usually mind playfully calling each other hoes. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, things have gotten so mean lately. Yeah, the world's full of hate nowadays. It's I shouldn't say it's full of hate. Just seeing a lot of it on the news now, but trust me, that shit ain't real. Well, it's not real. It's not like it's everywhere, I suppose. You know, the news makes it seem like everything's bad everywhere all the time. Seriously, fuck off, dick. Oh, I'm starting to starting to get fucking killed here now. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. He's got one hell of a reach on him. Let's see if I can do a continue on this or not. Oh, thanks, Bushbeer, dude. I like it. Ah. Fucking ribs. <laughs> they still hurt. I wonder if I should get an x ray and see what happened. It's a mighty little stream. I like that. Let's write down that password. Be right with you guys. I'm just going to write down the password right quick. What is it? O D. O W. D R T Okay. Oh yeah, they're always very chill. We get to fucking hang out, shoot the shit, don't worry about minding your P's and Q's too much. Cheers to you and smoke them if you got them. Let's try this one more time here. Stage two. Okay, start me off where I left off anyway. I think tomorrow or the next day I'm going to work on the first episode, the pilot episode of Lifted Movie Reviews. I think so. Because I don't work till 5. As long as I don't sleep the whole day away, then I should be able to do something. At least start on it. Suffer, you will die just like your preclose wife. Guy I bought the guitar off today offered to smoke me out, but I had to drive. Ah, it's good though. Don't don't smoke and drive, people. Seriously.
Yeah, don't do that. Don't blow it. Seriously. That's what happened around here. So, this is fucking stupid. So, the first day of legalization here, October 17th, the first night, this guy literally gets caught with a bunch of weed in his, in, in his fucking club compartment. That's right. That's what I'm saying. And plus, he was high. They do this tongue swab test up here. And sort of like a breathalyzer, but they just have this plastic thing that they stick on your tongue and then if it turns a certain color then it shows you're under the influence of cannabis or you got cannabis in your system anyway but they uh, yeah they fucking dinged him good for that but, like, but I was like really the first fucking night but yeah don't blow it definitely Show the government that you're responsible, cannabis enthusiasts. That's the best thing to do. I think I'm going down here. Oof. Surrounded. This ain't going to be pretty. Fuck, these guys... Damn. Um, one more hit. Fuck. There we go. <laughs> they are. Yeah, they are lowered. Like, it's not like being drunk, of course, but seriously, like, the first dumb thing you do when you're smoking and driving, you're going to realize that, oh, it's probably because I was fucking high. No, not even one beer. No, I don't either. Like, there's one day where my aunt passed away a couple of years back now. So we had to go clean her place out. And I was up having some drinks and smoked some weed the night before. Got up, smoked a bowl. My dad's like, well, let's go down and take care of this. And we did. So he's like, yeah, go out and back the car up to the steps. Make it easier. So I'm like, all right. I got my work boots on, big-ass work boots. And I get in the car, I'm like, whatever, so I fucking start backing it up. And then all of a sudden it starts reversing fast. No, I, I, no, I went to put my foot on the brake, and it starts reversing fast, like, and I'm like, no, 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 and slam right into the fucking stairs. My dad's inside, he comes out, he's like, what the fuck was that about? And I'm like, I don't know what happened. And then he's like, oh, I know what happened. He's like, you had your foot on the gas and the brake at the same time with the big work boots. And then I just thought to myself, yeah, it's because I smoked some weed. Definitely, it's what it was. Like, I wasn't high, but I wasn't completely alert either. It was just stupid. I fucked the back end of the car up really bad. We had to pull it... Pull it out. Pull the fucking dents out with a tractor. Good thing my dad's good with metal. So we got most of the shit pulled out. Oh, these fucking things again? God damn it. Like, I don't even know what to do with these things. This seems to be working pretty well, though. <laughs> okay. Nice if I had my fucking knife. I'm trying to get to this boss because this boss is trippy as fuck. But I don't know if I could do it. Oh, it's after 12 o'clock though. Happy Friday the 13th, everybody. 
Happy Friday the 13th. Some meds, even. Yeah. You're right, Chris. Because. A friend of my father, years and years and years ago, he was. He had some cough medicine, I guess, and he fell asleep at the wheel. He was so sick with the flu and he was working. And so he was just basically down in the cough syrup, trying to stay vigilant at work so he could bring in some money. And yet, one night on the way home, he falls asleep at the wheel. And it wasn't good. You don't smoke weed, though. What the hell's wrong with you? So weird. I don't smoke weed anymore, but I don't smoke it any less either. I'm trying to find my fucking joint holding ring. There's nothing wrong with not smoking weed though. I respect people that don't do stuff like drink and smoke dope, smoke cigarettes. <coughs> you have better quality of life. Okay, I'm getting so lost here. <coughs> you have schizophrenia? Uh, I, that's alright. I have actually quite a few schizophrenic friends now that I think about it and then working at the dispensary we had a lot of schizophrenic clients and schizophrenia isn't like people make it out to be like most people I know that say they're schizophrenic I'm like really? I didn't even know oh get my knife But then they tell me what, you know, how it is. And then I see the people fucking, they hide it too. Down one, over two. Okay. Down one, over two. Ah, oh, no! Fucking take my knife away! Come on! makes me so mad and you wouldn't like me when I get angry look at that guy Just fucking feeding him yeah some co-workers reacted that way really tried to hide it and what had the issue worked one and some learn yeah yeah it comes out I guess sometimes like I got this one friend really nice guy awesome to hang out with fun to have some drinks with he does smoke weed, but you'd never really know. But whenever we're having some drinks or something like that, he doesn't want to walk home alone for some reason. And they're like, I don't really pry, but usually we'll, we'll walk him home. And I, I think it's because he's afraid something's going to happen, right? But it just. Hmm. It doesn't really affect him any other way. It's, it's, it's not like he's doing weird stuff or anything like that. Uh oh. Getting down to the nitty gritty here. Maybe just one life left. Let's see if I can get a free man or something. Look at these things jumping all over the place. Jumping. Just jumping. Oh, what? It's not even fair. It's not even fucking fair.
Schizophrenic Night Paranoid. Night Paranoid. Night's mess me up a lot. Schizophrenic. Oh, mess up a lot of schizophrenic people. It usually makes more hallucinations. Uh, okay, I see. But, like, as far as I know, I've never really seen him hallucinate. We had one guy that we used to hang out with back in high school, and he, he was one of the, you know, the more up on the spectrum. So, oh, Craig Morgan, what's up, dude? Fuck yeah, Craig Morgan, where you been? Not a party until you're here. <laughs> Weedy. Fucking pandering. Oh, these things are just fucked. What, what, what the hell? Is there a way I can get past them? Oh, no, there's not really a way. This guy. Oh, shit, he's a toughie. Love people in person, life. Haven't met anyone else besides me, so it's tough. Can people understand it first? It's gotten easier though. Oh yeah. Yeah, we had quite a few clients there at Maritime Medicinal that had schizophrenia, and they they would always come and get the CBD stuff, right? And then also too, guys. Right now, speaking of that, I might be doing a collaboration with this. Uh, Nonprofit organization in my town here. It's called Outsider Insight, and it's like a outsider art program for people with uh, mental health issues. And the guy that basically runs it, he's cool as fuck. This guy, he has schizophrenia, and he he only smokes like high CBD, low THC stuff. So that would be the end of that. What's this game? It's uh, Splatterhouse. Oh yeah. Happy Happy Friday the thirteenth. Oh VCR fucking thing. God damn. It. Uh, there we go. Back in business. Except I can't find my fucking joint holder. That sucks. Wonder where that went off to. Ah, oh, well, whatever. It is what it is. Splatterhouse. Splatterhouse 3, exactly. Uh, try it again, or what? Oh, let's, let's move on to something else. My hand's hurting from playing that game too much. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> it sucks. But yeah, this guy with the Outsider Inside, he, I think he wants to do a stream with us sometime. Just get some people involved and hang out, maybe do a charity thing or something, I don't know. But it sounds like fun, so I'm in. It's not too crazy fucking hard to play. Ugh. Oh yeah, definitely. Like myself. I have ADD and then Like, I was, I was diagnosed back in the 80s with ADD. This was way before ADHD. Wow. And they doped me up with Ritalin right bad when I was a kid. And then later on in life, I think due to the Ritalin, when it developed anxiety and depression because I didn't take the Ritalin anymore and that shit will fuck you up. There, yeah, that's better. <laughs> Uh, 
Like, kids are hyperactive. I mean, fuck. Oh, that's all right. I'm, I'm prescribed cannabis for anxiety and depression, and I'm on a light medic antidepressant. It's not too... No. Yeah, blah. Can't talk now. <laughs> it's not too crazy. But, uh... Yeah. I smoke a lot of high CBD cannabis. It fucking helps a lot. But that's why he wants me to do a stream with him, I think. But the art that these guys do, it's it's so awesome. Oh yeah, definitely does. Fucking dog. Your friend uses it? Yeah, it's good medicine for some people, really. It's not for everybody, for sure. Like you were saying... How weed makes you paranoid, right? It makes a lot of people paranoid in the first place. So this this guy that runs Insider Outside, out, Outsider Insight, he doesn't smoke anything with THC in it at all. It's just CBD only. Missed him. Chip Dilly's your favorite cartoon as a kid? Oh, I love this fucking game, too. I love this show. The game, it's a lot harder, because I've never really played it as a kid. I picked it up, like, a few months ago, and started to play a little bit. Good choice. Thanks. Thanks, guys. But yeah, my doctor said... Don't suggest I do it, and I agree. Would definitely have to not have THC. Yeah, yeah. I think you'd be okay if you tried something with CBD only, but it's kind of hard to find that in some places, right? Oh. Right back to the start. Look at this shit. TV was so good in the 90s. Yeah. Like the 80s and the 90s were pretty good for sure. Yeah, it's not legal there, I know. So, even here, it was like it's it's still hard to get it. Actually, you can go to the dispensary and get it, I suppose. But yeah, it's like. That was one of the biggest things when they legalized here is like CBD oil and stuff. Oh, come on. Get it together, Chip. Yeah, don't do anything illegal, though. <laughs> Fuck. Illegal. Ugh. 
Cheers, everybody. And another little drink of the whiskey here. Hopefully not fall asleep this time. It's not legal. It's probably not regulated better for that. Yeah. Like the stuff that we have here is like it's tested by the government. Well, Health Canada government, I guess. So you know, like when you go to the store and buy something, it's like it'll say like zero percent THC and seventeen percent CBD. So you know exactly what you're getting. Damn it! All oh, the fucking hell. Oh man, I'm blowing it. Just screwing the old pooch here. Yeah. Game over. Well, I'm going to try it one more time. <laughs> totally obeying the law? Yeah. Yeah, Chris, because I didn't obey the law for 20 years with this stuff here. And it takes its toll on you. It takes its toll on your mental health. Like that's part of my anxiety and depression, probably too. My doctor said I probably got PTSD from being a fucking weed dealer for twenty years. Hmm. Miss being able to look at the lab reports. <laughs> Don't do drugs. Just smoke weed. If it's legal where you're at, of course. <laughs> I heard they legalized fucking mushrooms in, where was it, Colorado and California? That's really messed up. Like, you're gonna have all kinds of fucked up people eating mushrooms. Can you guys believe that? Imagine I've heard some stories about what dealers go through. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Craig Morgan, when are we getting a Switch? When you send me one for free. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, they're too expensive for me right now. I can't really afford one. So I'm trying to find one on the cheap somewhere. I'm hunting around for a used one. In Denver. You're diagnosed with PTSD, Jay? Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it, man? Like, you just get, like, crazy nightmares in the middle of the night, wake up with your heart pounding, and you're sweating, and just can't... Ugh. So that's when I smoke a bowl of something high CBD. I'll wake up in the middle of the night, and that'll happen, and I'll smoke some CBD and just, I don't know, put a TV show on or something like that. Check out some YouTube and stuff. Yeah, fuck you, dog. Fuck you, dog. Yeah, it's, it is slowly getting cheaper, you're right. Minus the Joy-Cons. <laughs> People are hating on those fucking Joy-Cons lately, aren't they? Okay, they're not doing too bad this time. They're adding more NES, SNES games? I think they are, aren't they? Bees. Killer bees. Oh, I don't like the bees. 
So I made it. Oh, I think this is the first time I made it to the second level of this thing. No time soon. Well, they just added some new games, didn't they? The Pro Controller? Yeah. See, if I got one, that's probably what I'd, ha I'd have to buy one of those right away. So I'd spend like 300 bucks Canadian on, on one. And then like, what, $30, $50 for a job for a Pro Controller? the Earthbound and other games. Can you mod the uh, Switch yet? Is that a possibility? I know it's it's going to be eventually, because... Craig, you like the Joy-Cons, do you? Well, I mean, the Joy-Cons aren't bad, it's just that they're not durable. So you gotta watch out if you're, like, playing hard at a game, then chances are you might break one of them things. People have, have no problem with the Joy Cons. I see a lot of people uh, gripping, and as a consumer, I cannot make heads or tails of it. Yeah, maybe, maybe you're right about that. Who knows? Oh, come on! This game's just unforgiving. You go right back to the beginning. Okay. This game has a major flaw. Yep. Switch for a year and a half, no issues. Others have already had issues sooner. So, I wonder what's up with that. Is it just some people play rougher with controllers than others and, and break them? Or is there just a quality control issue from system to system? Maybe one system has a better setup or was put together better? Built well for the Odyssey. Look at this. Bam. There's a nut. I need that. Those nuts. Can't tell either. Un unlucky systems, poor handling, or with the Joy Cons? I don't know. I don't know. What is it? Maybe it's fake news. What? Fucking. What? So confused. Oh no, this is a boss. Well, that was crazy. <laughs> oh, we're gonna end this. Move on to a different game. What's up, cat? Hey, Jesse. What have we been going for now? Oh, yeah. We're almost there, actually. So you guys that are still watching, I think after this I'll cut this stream, and then I'm going to come back, and 
I'll start another stream and we can play some music and get it demonetized and fucking fuck YouTube. Oh, well, that's better. So, uh, I'm gonna play for like five more minutes. Holy fucking Sega Masters just it's got the kung fu grip in the games. There. Sorry, weedy. Jesus Christ. Double Dragon for the Master System. Good game. I haven't played it much on the Master, though. With the left Joy-Con. Yeah, what's with the left one? Why not the right one? Probably need to attempt to sleep soon since it's got to be up in the morning. Well, that's all right. Thank Chris. Thanks for coming in, anyways. <coughs> Love chatting you tonight. Oh, that's not even. <laughs> to the left. What's even going on here? You had it, but you fixed it. How'd you fix it? Did you fix it yourself? Uh, yeah, Chris, thanks for coming by. Had it for the night. Have a good one. Yeah. Well, happy Friday the 13th. Get some sleep. Don't let old Jason Voorhees get you. I think I might stream tomorrow night, too, because I'm off at 5 o'clock the next day. So, Or I only work till 5 the next day. Or I only start at 5 the next day. Fuck's sakes, I can't even talk. <coughs> so. Definitely stop in tomorrow night. Uh Later on, Chris. Have a good sleep. Fucking weedy. All right, Let's start mission one. A lot of people say this is the better console to play it on. Yeah, Chris is cool as shit. I like having her hang out. Oh, it's so weird playing on this controller, though. I'm not used to it. Right on. Fucking drop kicks. Drop kicks are the way to go. down fucking just crapped out on me here <laughs> yeah. look at that shit there's some serious half-ass programming right there fucked up again. There. Works now. Something to do with the port. Like it just doesn't stay in. I can get it up but I can't get it in. You subbed. Right on. Hmm. 
So yeah, if you guys are still left here, I'm not sure who's all here still, but I think I'll cut the stream here soon and get back. A bunch of people just left though. Tungtastic Voyage, you're still here? Did you get that tattoo? Do a back punch works the best. I haven't played this game much because, for one, the fucking controller port doesn't work half the time with the up button. <coughs> Two, this isn't my favorite version of the fucking game. And number three or four, whichever number we're on next. I just suck at video games. <laughs> Push A B together, because that, that does your jump, right? Oh. There we go. Fuck you flies. Yeah, because that's the way it is on the uh, NES version. This guy's stuck in the wall, I think. Oh yeah, no he was. He's not now. Game's a little bit glitchy. Oh, fucking, Oof. dirty. Am I on Nintendo? No, I'm Sega Master System man. Yeah, you're saying you're getting a fucking tattoo, Tongue Tacid Voyage? You doing that tonight? Just get her done? Oh, bush beer. You're at work, silly. I figured you would be, but you're talking about getting a tattoo. You may, maybe you're getting a tattoo at work. Who knows? You're the one that's silly. you good. Oh. oh. Not that kind of prison. You don't have somebody with a fucking tattoo gun made of a cassette player. A sewing needle and some cigarette ashes and toothpaste for ink. Tomorrow's Friday the 13th. It's actually Friday the 13th for me here right now, people. So happy Friday the 13th. Punked Acid Voyage. Bush Beer. Craig Morgan. Who else is still here? JS Choir, I think, is still around. Oh, 
Oh wait, which is eighth? <laughs> Cheers, guys! Thanks for coming by. Get this thing set up here. Oh. oh! I didn't realize Jay was streaming tonight. Yeah, I might just call it a night here, fellas and ladies, dudes and dudettes. I didn't realize Jay was streaming. So most of the people in here know, or well, most people that would come in. So probably over his place right now, which is cool. For a little while there, I didn't think he was going to stream, so. That would be the way it is, I suppose. <laughs> it's the way it goes. One more person popping in, I suppose. Yeah, I think I'll cut the stream off in like one more minute here. Unless for some reason a whole shitload of people come in. Party ensues. But other than that. Thanks for dropping in and chatting though, everybody. Tongue Tassy Voyage. Oh yeah, it's your favorite day. I've never found it to be a bad luck day or anything like that. You guys ever see the TV show Friday the 13th where the, yeah, they're looking for all the cursed objects? Excuse me. Unless you guys want me to keep streaming. I will. Oh, damn. Play this game for a minute or two. I suck at it. We'll see what happens. the text. <laughs> guys are pretty quiet down there right now. There's a part of this game where I get totally confused and I don't know what I'm doing, so Let's see if I can get past that just because. And then I'll probably take a little break for a bit.
Gotta watch classic Friday the 13th movie, Mrs. Voorhees, the original killer. Try to deal with my mother and take care of this mess I've got going with my toe. Oh! <laughs> toe mess. Well, take care of your mom there, Jazz Choir. Dude. I know you got stuff going on, man. That's alright. Like, you guys are all fucking awesome. Thanks for coming in and chatting. A little bit. Yeah, I'll probably call the stream there. Two hours and 13 minutes on Friday the 13th. So, that seems like a safe bet. Catch you guys on the flip side. Thanks for coming in. Weedy. Thanks, everybody. Fucking love you all. Don't fucking smoke weed and drive. Get high and fly. Sound advice. <laughs>